Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mad Mitch. It's Mitchell Wheeler. Today, we're doing a video on my brother's new car that he just got. Um, he got the 92, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check that out. Yes, 92 model 240SXE or 240SX. My bad. Sorry for the Nissan fans. No, Nissans. He basically got this car for a cheap price. I'm not going to disclose the uh, price on it. Um, it was a fair buy. The car is going to need some loving touching on his end. He's going to probably do a wide body kit on this car, as he was telling me earlier. So, uh, yeah. From the look of this car, it is going to need a new paint job. Uh, I'll show you all real quick. But the front fender has been, I guess, wrecked. Back here on the back rear, somebody uh, ran into it with a car or had a fender bender. So, guys, this car is going to be a project. Uh, anywhere he takes this car, I'm probably going to go, go with him. He's going to have to learn how to uh, do manual. And clutch because he has never drove a manual clutch. The car that's sitting over here to the right on left of y'all on the camera that is over to my right, that's the only car he's been driving. A Saturn View automatic 2003 all wheel drive, four cylinder. This car has been for good him a time now. He has put his personal savings up from his job that he's been working for over the last couple months to few months. He literally just bought this car. Um, good thing is the car doesn't have that much wear and tear. It has its problems sometimes um, One of the problems about 240s are uh, Literally they have the uh, What is it the trunk seal problem on their cars where uh, I guess after wear and tear the seals get like a little bit of water damage Now in the case of this one. I'm going to bring you all over here where y'all can see this so as you can see, this is the 240 trunk space. Now, it, you're lucky to get a trunk like this. It has the full coverage and all the seats in and all that. I'll show y'all what it looks like inside. We got the full carpet, everything. Um, he does have new brakes sitting in the box and some new parts that he can actually use but at the meantime. So, yeah. Uh, under here, that is where I was getting to the part of the water damage seal that they have in this particular how say particular model that has the trunk seal problem so i guess after they made this car i guess they didn't really want to go into de depth with it um this right here has to be replaced i guess after a few years because it is getting water into the back of the trunk spare tire leverage down here so he got a good deal on the car like i said it's probably one of the cleanest ones out of chattanooga tennessee and out of georgia or anywhere to tell you the truth but like I said it's got the cosmetic damage as you see there the fender bender right there tires are going to need to be replaced on the back because the other one has a uh, hole in the firewall of the uh, sidewall of the tire and this is the fender here um, if y'all are not familiar with pick apart that uh, red up there is ripped from uh, pick apart so this is a clean 240 Front bumper is going to need a repay or a respray or uh, either a new bumper. He says he wants to do all, basically all the new parts on this thing. Um, get to the engine. This is where the beauty is. My grandfather drove it home because he doesn't know how to drive straight shift. Uh, as you see, it's got a brand new battery. Mishi, or her set, Mishimoto radiator. Um, it's got a lot of things. It's a pretty clean engine. And I think he's gonna like uh, doing some modifications to the engine. He says for right now he's gonna keep the uh, stock stuff on it right now until uh, he gets enough money saved up. But right now he's gonna probably let it sit for about a month or so. As you see, he just closed the trunk. He's gonna keep it sitting here at the house for a while because uh, he doesn't want to like drive it out to his work and everything. So yeah, like you take a look at this engine. It hasn't been abused or anything like that, as you see pretty clean and um, the brakes oh my grandfather said the brakes are awesome on this car and my brother did too so as you see the seats they are going to be need to be replaced no joke he wants to do a full interior swap on this that's what he was telling me 
Do what? Bride. He wants to do the bride seats. That's what he was just telling me. As you see, he's going to do a boot shift. Um, how should I say? No, I hit the building. Um, as you see, there he is. That's his car. I'm just doing a video for him. Hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna lower y'all down. Yeah, like the interior is gonna have to be replaced. Uh, I've already talked to him about the radio that came with this car. I'm gonna tell him to keep it. Now the door speakers and the rear passenger speakers back there are gonna have to be replaced because they are having. They're okay speakers if you're just listening to music, just like not a lot of bass. Like he said that they're better than my mom's car. And this car is pretty clean, guys. As you see, I'm gonna pop up one of these seats to show you the interiors all back here. Come on, guys. It's got full interior, pretty nice. He's got everything, guys. This is probably one of the best deals he's ever got out of it. Um the price was under five grand because I know some of these cars on Craigslist go for five grand, just depending on what the uh shape and condition they are like he said he wants to replace the seats possibility the steering wheel the shift boot and the carpet too because the carpet is in pretty bad condition as we see right now on the camera um other than that he's going to get some new tires new cool overs new shocks new suspension i think he's going to do airbag suspension on this car too he's going to try to do a wide body kit on it and I don't know about spooler wise, but he is going to remove that Hoonigan sticker right there too. So, no worry. Uh, stock exhaust, it's going to be changed. Pretty nice. The car idles at really good conditions. And it's really good. So, guys, I appreciate y'all watching this video. This is the probably the cleanest 240 you can probably see out here. Without having a lot of dings and pings. So, yeah, this is probably one of the best cars you're going to see out of here where we live at, or anywhere, probably. But, uh, like he said, he's going to repay the car either red, blue, or white. I don't know what kind of color scheme he's going for, but he is going to get a sound system and all that. So, guys, uh, I'll be sure to update y'all if he does do anything to the car here soon. So, uh... Yeah, guys, appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe and like and comment down below.